Sometimes it hides us from our parents, too, and there are calls for us to come inside just when Tag got fun. The truck's always home before we get home from sixth grade. It smells like grass and gasoline, like Buffy's hands. The truck is the nest where a few of us kids used to make quail eggs out of tiny rocks and the spot I go to when I want to run away from home. On my belly, I still play marbles that roll into the shallow ridges of the truck's skin. I'm playing a game of marbles I should have gotten wrong by now, but who cares? I'm the oldest of my two brothers, and they shouldn't get to play with my marbles yet. But Susie and her sister, Marivelle, walk up. Marivelle's Chinese chancla Mary Jane is dragging along. So I shove the cloudy blue glass and one-eyed fatty marbles in my pocket and pull out my copy of Sweet Valley High. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby, goes Maribel as she climbs into the truck from the side steps, Susie behind her. Still reading those baby books? Oh, Mari, you let her that one remember, says Susie to cover my tracks. I actually got this book from the Troll Catalog for free. From reading so many books on their summer challenge. <laughs> I've never seen Maribel open any book that didn't have menudo or moody British guys on it. <laughs> I don't get it. We were all born here, at Santa Marta Hospital or at General. All our houses are packed with photos of dead grannies and photos of each kid in the family at Sears with fake wheat fields in the background. <laughs> None of us are British with these nopales on the forehead. I squint at the smoggy sun and say, I'm doing research on kissing. <laughs> you kiss boys before? Tilting my head at them like I have lots of experience. Maribel takes out a makeup bag and flicks on the tail end of her eyeliner. A kiss feels like his tongue is going, to, going straight down your neck, a little worm into your heart. Maribel is 15 and hangs out in the flatbed park of her father's truck to watch the boys go by on their way to the Friday football game. Her sister Susie and I are only three years younger and we sit with her sometimes, watching her apply juicy lip gloss under the shadow of the avocado tree. That's gross, money man. You said kissing was more like when someone whispers a secret, but they do it in your mouth instead of your ear. <laughs> <laughs> said Susie, swinging her legs over the flatbed's door, a dangling metal tongue. The boys have started to drive by, but I don't pay attention. Maribel waves the two girls driving by in a 76 yellow Mustang and entertains my question. Why are you asking me anyway? Haven't you ever kissed a boy? I shrug and say, once, this boy kissed me near the chicken coop in his backyard. It was dusty and hot, and nothing happened to my heart. <laughs> Figures, she says. You're still a little wet behind the ears. You and your brothers like to wear your white socks all pulled up on your ankles. Maribel puts away her makeup in a transparent bag and resumes scoping out who is in which cars. The youth riots with new rims slow just enough for Maribel to decide if they get away or in LA, no look. <laughs> I bet your heart would have done be loose if that guy over there had kissed you. I look over her shoulder at the house behind her and the wet old boy she spotted. His house is short and white, red trimming, the basketball net grayed and holy with dirty balls. I doubt it, I go. I don't like freckles. I wish I hadn't said anything. I'm a good kid, I do my homework. And teachers always see me with the boys who won't stop talking because supposedly they listen to me. I adjust my red striped shirt. I hope when I kiss a boy that my heart beats fast and then he'll put his hands in my hair. I bet it'll feel just as good as when the shampoo lady really does it. Just make sure your hair isn't braided into pigtails and knock out when he bit snaps and brushes avocado dust from her Duran Duran shirt. I don't think of the way father kisses mommy, still when kisses when she's not looking, and I happen to look up for my doodle sheet and chorizo taco. Have you ever been in love? I ask and bite my lip because I'm already sorry I asked. Maribel sits up straight and nods at a car with guys and men's shirts playing punk music. Are you asked the saddest questions, girl? Of course I have. <laughs> First with Giovanni, then with Joe, now with Eric. Eric's the best kisser, and sometimes he presses up behind me and can feel his pants. That's the best part, at least with your clothes on. I have this friend, Yeti, and she's only had one love. If you can say that's what it was. Her parents are like yours, girly, all proper and rancho. We had to visit her at her window and on Sundays after church. 
What fun is that? You don't even get to hold hands, just sit talking with all your multiple cousins running around. She pokes her nose at the empty street, her eyes waiting for more bodies to count. Susie is busy watching the shirtless widow across the street throw a Nerf football to his friend. He looks at her occasionally, brushing his long bangs from his eyes, freckles covering his cheeks. I don't know how she can like him. He kind of smells like a goat, and I've seen him be mean and push kids around on the tetherball court. I try and get her attention. I was in love with Jacobo in first grade. I loved how his hair would cover his eyes every time he'd laugh. I look at Susie's stonewashed jeans. Her clothes always fit her so perfectly, like Barbies in tight dresses. My chest gets hot sitting here, sitting there waiting for something else to talk about. Maribel gets impatient and hops off the truck like a side saddle dismount. I'm outie, Susie. You and Naka here can hold it down for a while. I'm going to take a shower. And don't you perverts try and sneak any peaks, Lesbos. <laughs> Susie snorts. We're overlooking at your tiny titties, my dear. <laughs> Go inside already so I can talk to Tommy over there. I don't reply because that peeping Tom Tom stuff was not my idea. Me and Susie used to sneak around the back of her house and look through the narrow bathroom window where my dear was showering. It was Susie's idea. I had seen plenty of chichis by the time I was six. The ones belonging to Sasha Montenegro and all those sexy comedia movie movies from Mexico. Sasha always running around, being the violin playing, school girl by day, at night a cabaret singer in feather boas and transparent blue nightgowns. When I was even littler, I got to see mommies when we shower together. Hers were not for the movies. <laughs> they were for work and for feeding my younger brothers. They were for staying underneath baggy shirts at night and dammed up by a full-length hook and eye closure bra in the day. I try to pry Susie from her white boy seeking missile ways. She's not even looking at me. Susie, I plead. Really, really, what's it like to be in love? You went out with that kid David, right? How did it feel? She turns my way with grief on her mug and says, I girl, look, David was a bad kisser, and the boyfriend thing was a bad idea. What I like better is getting them to like me, like this guy across the street. I don't even have to do that much to make them fall in love. Just a few glances lets them know I'm interested. Talking to them means I care what they think about. When I kiss them, I let it build up for weeks and weeks. They like it even more when you don't let them put their hands, your, their hands in your pants. Mm -hmm. That's more fun than having one boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Having them all love you and want you. That's love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she shifts her body away from me and shoots me away with her neck tent. Susie's waving that kid over so they can talk. Whatever with those girls. They think they're cool because they parade around. They parade their shoulders around Loveland Street like some chicharron in a window. All right, Susie. But just don't get all feelings again because some boy was mean to you. I start to walk off the back of the truck. I know what you guys I know you guys think love is all wet kissing boys you don't even like. And that I need to wear some more makeup so the boys can actually like me a little. But I don't want that. I want love to feel like a pink shirt of Valentine with yellow peeps sealing the envelope and inside my love promising quiet long kisses that he asked me permission for. I am the Chicana Juliet hopping off the balcony of that Chevy truck. <laughs> They don't get to tell me what to think and how to kiss anybody. I don't want to be surprised again by some chicken coop dork boy who decides he's going to kiss me. I slam the short metal fence to my house and seal my promise with a sass. Thank you. <laughs>